okay what's up what's up my babies welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for visiting once again this is zen in the void and i am zen you already know and if you don't know and you're new thank you so much for visiting my channel and i'm so honored to read messages for you guys today we're gonna go ahead and do the sign of aquarius and love and let's just get right into it honey i'm gonna take a sip of my water and we're gonna get started also if you are returning Thank you so much for your support. You already know what's cracking, what it is, and what it will be. Uh, let's get right into it, honey. I got a few, as I shuffle, I got a few messages for everybody, okay? And it's because I've been, I've been going through a little bit too much BS, okay? Um, this weekend, I'm doing a giveaway for free mini tarot readings. So if you want to catch that giveaway, because uh, I'm pulling names tonight for that, um, and you guys want to go check out my Instagram immediately at, at Tom babe underscore. So that's T O M B A B E underscore. It's going to be in the description and I may also pin a comment so you guys can see it very nice and clearly. But after this weekend, I will not be offering any more free service. Usually I tell people, guys, if you need anything, if it's really pressing or if I feel called to help you, if spirit tells me to help you, I will be helping you, uh, you know, help some people for free and just kind of offer my time and my services out of the kindness of my heart. And, you know, for the greater good and just to be of service. But I'm ending that this weekend because people have taken advantage of my, me and my time. And I don't appreciate it. Uh, and I just love myself too much. And Spirit loves me so much. Spirit let me know, like, listen, love, I, I want you to not do this for a while. So I'm going to put that on pause for a bit. But if you guys need any personal readings or uh, intuitive life coaching, um, you know, Feel free, honey, to see my rates. They will be on my Instagram in the highlights. So if you guys want to go ahead and follow my Instagram, uh, my rates will be in the highlights. And um, if you email me inquiring about any of those services as well, I will give you my rates. So with no more further ado, all of that being said, we are going to go ahead and start with love readings for my aqua babies what's up team aquarius what's up aquarius we're gonna go ahead and get some love messages we already got one card coming out for your past energy setting the tone for the entire reading we got the prince of wands for love we okay so let's just get right into this prince of wands actually let me get two more cards out here and your energy aquarius i feel a little rushed i feel a little frazzled i feel a little anxious virgo's energy felt very anxious as well i feel like a lot of you guys are going through lots of anxiety right now so that's kind of what i'm picking up on because before i started this reading like i told virgo i've been very neutral i haven't been you know too stressed out about anything uh you know even people taking advantage of my time and my gifts um that hasn't even really bothered me too much if anything i just get a little annoyed but honey that that feeling goes as quickly as it comes because i'm making you know you got to be in control of yourself at the end of the day so you know let's get into these reads i think this is interesting before i shuffle the cards for the reading i had the death card in the reverse but and, and i already cleared the cards so this is a i feel like the death card is the overall subconscious feeling of you guys Aquarius at first it was in the reverse so I feel like a small number of you could be resisting your rebirth and your transformations but I think a large number of you guys subconsciously are going through these deaths and these transitions and these just all of these changes having to do with um you know rebirth and, and transitioning and you know put getting the old stale energy out of your life so let's get two more cards for love this is a love reading great spirit for the sign of Aquarius Let's get two more for the past energy, please. Okay, I'm gonna, these didn't fall out that good. It's a lot of cards, so let me just, all right, two more, Great Spirit. I think I just have to ground myself. You guys are so anxious. I'm feeling frazzled in your energy all over the place. Okay, cool, we got one. Oh, two, okay, amazing, amazing. Okay, so I love this, right? Because first of all, Jesus. Guys, guys, I'm feeling like way too crazy in my energy. I'm not even gonna lie. I need to ground, I need to breathe, I need to slow it down. So first of all, like I said, we got this Prince of Wands. We got the full card here. Hope you guys can see it very well. 
have all the lights on and everything today so that we can see everything. But I might have to low key adjust the camera. Maybe not if this doesn't glare. Come on now. Okay, cool. That's perfect. So we got the Princess of Wands coming out first, right? In the pre in the past energy, setting the tone for the entire reading. The Prince of Wands, right? The wands, the fire element, passion, uh, drive, action, right? But it's the prince. So it's one of those, well, it's the prince and the king. In the, in the original tarot right away deck uh, that I've studied before I've used the Thoth deck, uh, this card would be the king of wands. But in this deck, it's the prince of wands. So it's all about seeing the bigger picture, right? being a leader, overcoming challenges. So I feel like Aquarius, a lot of you guys are just in that energy where you're like, you know what? I'm taking the reins of my life. I see the bigger picture. I see what's going on. I see what spirit wants me to do. I have to be a leader for myself and for anyone who may be, you know, watching me and like, you know, you may be a person that a lot of people look up to. Aquarius, uh, as well as Virgos, but like I'm right now, I'm talking about Aquarius, right? Okay, so Aquarius, you guys, a lot of people look up to you because you're a sign that just always grows and evolves yourself. So people love that about you, they look up to you, they love you. So I feel like in love, since this is a love reading, you're feeling like you have to be a leader, you can't keep running from how you feel or the truth in your life, and you're just ready to take on challenges and be a leader right and you see the bigger picture you see what spirit has for you and what's going on so i think that's beautiful because you guys are allowing the changes to happen in instead of like fighting against it and this is the past energy right so next we have the full card i think that's beautiful as well for you aquarius because it lets us know that in the more past energy you chose to go on your fool's journey you're like fuck that like i'm definitely ready to start this new path this path makes me happy this path brings me joy it brings me peace it makes me feel innocent it makes me feel like a kid again it makes me feel like i'm just dating for the first time again so you're definitely on that fool's journey ready to take that leap of faith into the unknown and i think that's beautiful and then we have the four of cups here let me get out the helper for that but the four of cups is it's about emotion and i love this coming out in your spread aquarius anytime i see cup cards coming out in your spread i get very happy for you because I know you guys have this um, kind of like an issue with being disconnected from your emotions quite a lot because you don't feel comfortable functioning from that space all the time. But since you got the four of cups, though, that's a little that brings a little worry. I'm not going to lie, but I am happy that it is in the past energy because it probably isn't affecting you as much anymore, especially in the present and in the future going forward. However, the four of cups is about apathy. It's about feeling lazy. It's about feeling dissatisfied with your current reality and what's going on in your life you're contemplating a lot of things and you're feeling disconnected even though that worries me just a bit Aquarius it more so makes me actually pretty happy and pretty hopeful for you Aquarius because you realize all that stuck stagnant dead stale ass energy that you had going on in your life before with your relationships uh, romantically and non romantically you're over that shit you're looking at it like you know what I'm dissatisfied with that not only do I see that I have to be the bigger, you know, I have to be a leader and, and, you know, take the reins of my life and start this unknown, awesome, amazing journey. I'm just unhappy with everything that's in my life now. Like I told you guys in your last, like, general reading, a lot of you guys are kind of taking out the trash still in your life. Spirit is giving you that opportunity to say, you know what? My mouth is so juicy, y'all. I'm so happy because I don't have Sorgan syndrome anymore. My mouth is moist yet again. I have gotten my secretions back. <laughs> that word is so funny to me, secretions. But anyway, let me get back to let me let me stay on topic. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm feeling goofy once more. But anyways, it's because my mouth is watering and it, it's making me laugh because like my mouth is like drooling as I'm talking. But anyways, Aquarius spirit is literally putting you guys in this space where you are able to relax, rejuvenate, you know, just kind of be reborn and be nurtured by spirit. You know, you're getting provided for in a spiritual way so that you can really focus on yourself and your happiness. However, you also have the task of cleaning up whatever issues you may have in your life now so that you can, like, that's why I said taking out the trash because 
you had a lot of you know bullshit going on in your life now that you have a time to rest spirit is like okay Aquarius take this time to get rid of anything in your life that you don't want in your life anymore you have to take that step free will I can't you know clear it out for you I could probably you know give you a tower moment and give you some clarity and some truth and, and show you uh, the honest truth and you know kind of ruin things that are really not for you and really causing issues in your life but I can't take these people out of your life I can't take the situations necessarily out of your life that's kind of your responsibility so i feel like you're doing that with this four of cups you're like look all of this stuff in my life these relationships these people i was dealing with karmic partners and all that shit, it's not serving me it's not making me happy it's not making me feel emotionally fulfilled it's quite frankly just got me feeling disconnected and in my head too much and i'm dis i'm dissatisfied it's like finally you realize like you don't like any of it instead of feeling like you just have to do it just because you're like, nah, I don't have to go for that. Like I'm disconnected from that energy and from that bullshit because it's just not who I am anymore. It's not what I desire. Let's get some uh, some present energy, Grace Spirit, for the sign of Aquarius. In regards to love, I just saw 1111. I love that. Okay, cool. We got all three cards out. Okay, Spirit, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get through this thing. So first of all, we got the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, then we got the Five of Cups. I love all the cup cards in your reading, Aquarius. Go ahead and tap into those emotions, okay? Period. You're like, I'm tired of being a robot. I'm trying. I'm ready to feel. God damn it. And you got the Three of Wands. I love this. Okay, I love, love, love this because you guys are probably, you know, feeling passionate once more in your life, and I just love that for you. You know, passion, fire, that's beautiful. So we got the Queen of Pentacles first. I love the Queen of Pentacles. If y'all are OGs to this channel, Zen in the Void, you know that Zen fucks with the Queen of Pentacles because Pentacles are earth element, first of all. Virgos, I'm a Virgo, and we we are we the earth element, obviously. But the Queen is all about like look at her. Like I always talk about how she looks. Let me get her and try not to knock all these damn cards down. But look at her she's wealthy you see her she got antlers on her head piece she got animals that she owns she's she got a big ass pinnacle in her hand honey she's rich she's rich and she's wealthy and she has not a care in the world because her material abundance is together and that's all she that's all she needs because she's the queen of pentacles that's her only job and i feel like a lot of you are currently aquarius in that space um, in the present where you're feeling practical about your life like your practical needs are being taken care of you got your creature comforts you probably got yourself a drink probably got yourself a little blunt or something you know you kick back you get to watch your movies when you're not working you're just really relaxing financially you are secure you might not have every single duck in a row but spirit is providing for you in such a way where you don't have any worries it's like whatever financial issues you may have in the past or even you might even have now you're not worried about it because you're getting it together it's like because you had this energy of being apathetic towards the past bullshit and the things you had in your life now it's like okay i can show that shit i can show these people in these situations where the exit is i'm done with that and now you're in this queen of pentacles energy where you are financially secure and stable you have your creature comforts you are nurturing yourself when you're not working hard you're very practical. You're not trying to overspend and live beyond your means and just do all of this, you know, this show off shit. You're just like, look, I'm getting my work done. I'm secure financially and I'm just going to chill in my free time and, and, you know, do the things that make me feel comfortable and, and, you know, bring me happiness and peace. Maybe you're eating your favorite foods or eating very good nurturing foods and having yourself a drink and a smoke when you want to beautiful in the present moment honey then we got the five of cups in the upright right i feel like aquarius a lot of you are still lingering on a loss that you went through recently you guys went through that four of cups energy and if you can tell it's building upon each other four and then you got the five the four of cups then you got the five of cups four five right it's building upon each other you guys are 
it, 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 it may sound negative because you're going through this grief, you're grieving a losses that you're losing and you're going through all these changes and you're like, damn, I can't believe this is my life. I really wanted that person because this is a love reading, right? So it's like, even though you feel secure financially and you feel passionate towards love again and you re recognize what you want and what you don't want, you're still grieving the things that you've lost and you're feeling pitiful you're you're like kind of feeling that self-pity that's like is it was it me like is it something i did like you're beating yourself up for the choices you made and the things that you went through but you got to understand that is a natural part of the grieving process aquarius you're going through the natural process of grieving, which is beautiful because some people ignore how they feel. They skip steps in the grieving process and then it comes to bite they, them in the ass later, but you're not going through that. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm, you're like, you went through in the past, like, look, I'm disconnected and unhappy with what's in my life now, right? Okay. Then you're, you moved on in the present to this energy of like, damn, like, I'm, I'm grieving what I lost and that's a good thing because it's showing that you have the discipline to really stick to these changes. Not only did you recognize you don't didn't want that old, the old stale ass love and relationship and ships and things like that in your life, you're like, okay, I'm letting it go for real and I'm allowing myself to feel the emotions connected to these things and these people, which is very healthy. It's very, very necessary and healthy because if you lie to yourself and try to not feel those things, it doesn't really go away. So the loss and the grief that you're experiencing is actually a good thing because you're allowing yourself to purge these emotions. You're going through purging. What that means is you're just ridding yourself of all of the heaviness, the grief, the sadness. Not only the people and the things and the false love, but you're letting you're you're allowing yourself to feel and get through the emotions attached to it, which is a beautiful thing. Then what's even more fire is you got the three of wands coming right after that, right? And the three of wands is all about having this new, this this creative energy, this creative spark, passion you're ready to create the three the number three is all about creation it's about birthing things from creative from a creative space it's about expanding and growing rapidly and looking ahead so in your last general reading i forget if it was general or love aquarius but you guys had the three of wands in the reverse i feel like it was general or maybe career you guys know because you've been if you're og or if you've been watching these you already know what i'm talking about but you had the three of wands in reverse and i was letting you guys know okay spirit doesn't want you to expand right now spirit wants you to relax and be taken care of and to just chill but since this is a love reading is letting us know spirit is letting us know aquarius or you may if you resonate with this you realize about yourself that in regards to love you're feeling very creative you're feeling very passionate you are ready to look ahead you're ready to expand upon the love and the passion that you feel inside and you're ready to grow rapidly because the difference for you Aquarius is that it's not that you've been completely cold-hearted when you were in robot mode it's just almost like you've been storing the love in your heart like kind of like a potential energy and now you want to make it kinetic and if you don't know what that means google it it's 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 like it's physics it's chemistry it's it's science but potential energy is when like for example if you have a lot of love inside of you, you could have been storing it to potentially use it but you didn't want to use it because you knew it was something off about your setup now since you are being reborn and retransformed you're like okay i want to take this potential energy to love and turn it into kinetic energy to love and put it in motion so that's what this three of wands is about in regards to love you're ready to act upon it you're ready to expand and to grow you're ready to give yourself what you deserve because you've been it's like you've been waiting for so long and it's not that you were a robot because you wanted to be you just wanted to love in the right way you didn't want to waste your damn time you didn't want to waste your love on anybody and that makes so much sense aquarius so i think that's beautiful you're literally about to be growing and expanding in love and that's really hot like honestly i feel you I'm, 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 I'm on that same wave honey i'm feeling you aquarius so let's get some future energy out here Okay, we got the six of pentacles. I think that's interesting because you got all these pentacles in this first row. You got the six in reverse, which I think is interesting. But, um, you know, it's there. Okay, so the six of pentacles. Let's get two more cards out here before I start talking about the six of pentacles in reverse, honey. All right. Okay, all right. 
got the moon card very interesting uh, i think i know what's going on already <laughs> with these cards even just popping out like that okay jesus okay oh this is beautiful beautiful honey beautiful 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 i love this for the future energy for you aquarius especially since you got the star card because that's the aquarius card period coming out okay oh ooh, i'm knocking stuff over oh i'm so excited i just got so excited so i'm knocking shit over on accident okay let me put that there because that's we're not ready to read that card just yet but we're gonna read these these first three period okay so aquarius what I what I see for you guys quite clearly in the future energy, right? First of all, in the in the near future, you're gonna go through this feeling of feeling stingy, strings attached. You're gonna feel like you need to be the the one in charge. You know, I feel like Aquarius. A lot of you may know who you want to be with romantically. I feel like a lot of you have romantic interest, or you're gonna meet somebody who you have a romantic interest towards, or you just know what you want. You know what kind of person you want to be with, right? Take it as it resonates. But this card is about feeling the need to be like because you were hurt in the past, right? A lot of you were hurt in the past. That's why you didn't give that potential love out. You wanted to, but you didn't give it out because you knew, or, or maybe you did, and, it, and you and you got hurt, you got burned, and you just took it back, and you're like, nah, this person don't really deserve my love for real, and I see that, right? So a lot of you went through that heart, that 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 kind of like, that this this is the pinnacles, this is disc, so it's about home life, and all of that, right? So a lot of you guys built this like you wanted to build a foundation in a home with somebody that you were with with love and happiness right but since it didn't go the way that you thought even though you want to grow and expand right with love okay Aquarius stay with me okay though you want to expand right in love you want to go after what you want and grow rapidly you feel so passionate and creative towards love that you are seeking and that you want in your life right however when you get close to the possibility of being with someone that you want or finding that person you want to be with or the thought of even being with someone new who you know would be better for you since you learn your lessons, you're afraid. It's almost like you want to be stingy with yourself, with your love, with your time, with your uh, resources, like everything that you have that you consider to be valuable, tangible. You are afraid to share it and you want to be in charge. You want to be the one you don't want nobody having power over you. You don't want to, you're like, I don't want to go down that road again. I'm ready to love, but I'm low key afraid. Understand, Aquarius, this is natural. This is a natural part of the grieving process. You are supposed to learn how to, how to look out for yourself, create boundaries in love, like allow yourself to love freely, right? But just remember the boundaries that you need to set and just remember where you need growth and where you need healing. And before you go into love, maybe heal yourself a bit more. And if you do reach out to a person that you want to be with romantically, let them know, like, look, I'm still hurting right here. My, my heart still hurts right here and right there. And my mind still hurts right here and right there. And if that person really cares about you, they're going to take care of you with care. They're going to handle your heart gently. They're going to handle you gently because they care for you and they're going to understand but so either you're feeling that way or someone maybe feels that way towards you take it as it resonates but there's going to be this stinginess this power and demand the strings attached where you're going to feel like you want to share yourself but then you know you, you know you're afraid to or you might want something in return or you feel like those who are showing you that they like you they might want something from you it's just this overall sense of paranoia and wanting to be in control that's what this card is about in in the reverse and i got a lot of channeling off of that because i feel like that's how you're really going to be feeling in the future energy and the next card explains even more the moon card you're going to go through something, Aquarius, that's going to make you feel very much so in the dark. You're, it's like you got the full card previously. Uh, I'm trying to not make these cards fall down. It's really hard. But I think it's super cool the way these cards build upon each other because I can't make this up. This is nothing but spirit talking directly to you. You got the full card here talking about going on an unknown journey. The full Going into the unknown happily with innocence, with 
excitement in your heart like a like a child experiencing the world for the first time or hanging out with, you know just doing these new things and the beautiful thing about the fool's journey is you're gonna encounter a lot of things that are new to you and unexpected and that's the purpose of the journey so entering that space of the unknown it's only natural for you to reach this kind of moon driven energy where it's shadowy it's unknown but the beauty of it is you learn things about yourself and about other people it's about opening your heart it's that spirit is trying to open your heart up yes it's scary yes it's confusing yes it's all these delusions and illusions and, and, and shadows and you don't know how to really you don't know what steps to take and you, all you you know you got your little light and you're going through the darkness with your little light you can't really see ahead that's the purpose spirit wants you to trust yourself spirit wants you to trust your heart and spirit wants you to trust spirit spirit is saying i got you i would not let anything hurt you I will not give you something you can't handle. I will not put you in a, in, a, in a situation that you cannot handle. I love you. Trust me. Even in the dark, even in the shadows, even in confusion, even traveling in the nighttime with only the moonlight to guide you. I am the moonlight. Your intuition, your feminine attributes about yourself is that moonlight that's guiding you in the darkness. Spirit wants you to rely on your intuition. Feel into your feminine energy feel your heart feel your emotions feel your creativity feel your intuition and listen to your inner voice because it's going to lead you to this star energy right in the future this is your card aquarius the star this is all about hope and rejuvenation and wishes fulfilled wishes coming true wishing on a star this is beautiful, hopeful energy. Spirit wants you to know that even if you're gonna, even though you're gonna be confused and in the dark, in the dark, relying solely on your intuition, you're gonna have hope at the same time, or it's gonna lead you to a place where it's gonna help you to realize the hope that's inside of you. You're gonna say, "Damn, it's, it what that wasn't that bad." Spirit just wanted me to have some hope. Spirit just wanted me to have faith and to and to trust my heart and trust the fact that I am being rejuvenated and my life is being trans transformed. Whatever you're going to go through in love that's going to give you hope, it's going to give you hope. So whatever you go through, you're going to be like, whew, like I thought that was going to be so much harder than it was. And it's it's actually not hard at all. Actually, the move that I made or whatever I, I learned in this dark kind of like shadowy, confusing energy, it gave me a lot of hope. Maybe you're going to reach out to somebody who you love or like, or maybe someone's going to come to you with love or take it as it resonates. Someone, it could be romantically, it could be family, it could be a friend, but someone is going to bring you hope in regards to love in this new path that you're on. That's what the star card is about. Having your wishes be fulfilled, having you, your hope like rekindled. We sometimes on our journey, we lose faith. We lose hope because of the horrible shit that we go through, right? But the star card is about that hope being renewed. It's like when you see something, you're like, damn, faith restored. Like I, I had no hope in, in, in humanity until I saw that. That's what this energy is. You're going to experience something that's going to say, damn, my faith is restored in love. Your faith in love is going to be restored. You're going to have hope. You're going to be the star. This is your energy. Look how beautiful this card is. This is one of my favorite cards because of the beautiful colors, the blues and the purples. And she's bathing herself in water from the earth and light from the cosmos. How gorgeous is that? You're going to take a spiritual and, 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 and nurturing nature bath in the energies of, of, of pure spirit and of, of just pure, just love and light. And then for, uh, that's beautiful, y'all. I'm, I'm like low key just stoked for y'all. Because y'all faith is going to be restored in love. Like that's such a gorgeous feeling. I personally just went through that and I, and, I, and I was afraid. But it's so perfect and it's nothing but God. And I see that it's nothing but God. Just restoring all of my little faith in, in love. It's not that I didn't have faith before. But I wasn't seeing too many examples. And, and spirit just came into my life and said, let me show you. Let me show you. And then it show, and, and God is showing me. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, every day I'm like, damn. I can't believe somebody like this exists. I can't believe this exists. Whether I choose to be with this person or be in this situation or not, I see that it exists. It's real, 
right? So your first card for advice, right, is the Knight of Swords. Let's get back on track, honey. Get back on track, all this channeling. I love y'all, Aquarius. I just want to give y'all a big hug. But anyways, the Knight of Swords, this is your energy, Aquarius. This is Aquarius air element, the Knight of Swords. So this is all about just kind of having this this attitude or this this frame of mind where it's very action oriented your thoughts are making you feel very action oriented and impulsive it's like you're defending your beliefs this is advice so maybe spirit is telling you to be aware that your your mind and your thoughts are pushing you towards action and maybe that's okay take it as it resonates but just understand that you're in a very impulsive place and you're going to be defending what you believe and that's okay. I almost feel like what I thank you, Spirit. What I just heard from Spirit is that this is a good place to be in, right? For you. Because you're gonna go ahead into the unknown and have your faith restored and love. This impulsive energy is good because it's gonna push you into that place. Without these your thoughts helping you to be impulsive enough to go for it, you wouldn't do it. You probably would talk yourself into not doing it into leaning into fear and being fearful and being afraid but instead of feeling like oh like i can't i'm scared to risk the consequences i don't have direction it's too unpredictable it's too unknown you're gonna have thoughts that are gonna say nope it's a meme where like it's a it's a kid getting kicked into a pool by an adult and the adult is like sp uh, labeled spirit the kid is you and the pool is you know you know some you know something like uh new opportunities or something and, and it's basically saying like god is like pushing you into new opportunities so that's what i'm getting from this card aquarius the knight of swords energy allow allow the impulsiveness of your thoughts it's it's not negative it's gonna push you into the unknown for you to seek out something that you need to open up your heart chakra and you need that and you're going to be defending your beliefs, but that's good because whoever you talk to and seek out love from, they're going to say, okay, honey, I understand. It's okay to be defensive. I understand. If I went through what you went through, I'd be defense defensive too. And you're going to be, you're going to be like, gasp. I can't believe they're okay with that. The fact that I'm hesitant, the fact that I'm afraid, the fact that I don't know what I'm doing, but I just want to do it because I feel compelled to. I want to love. I don't want to be afraid. That person is going to make you feel safe and renewed. Your 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 hope is going to be renewed in love. Your impulsive thoughts is going to lead you into that unknown space. Allow it. Because usually I feel like spirit will be saying, don't allow your thoughts to make you impulsive. But this time I feel like the spirit saying, no, that's it's okay. It's good. It's, it's okay. Because you're going to learn something important take it as it resonates you can take the advice if you want or you cannot it's up to you aquarius but this is just what spirit is giving you that's your first piece of advice let's get two more cards of advice great spirit thank you great spirit this has been a great reading very clear let's get two more okay that's a lot i mean two that's a lot okay beautiful more air energy wow this is amazing more aquarius air element energy you got the two of swords there's gonna be decisions that you're having to make and you don't like it i feel like what i just heard thank you spirit that's so funny what i just heard aquarius is that on one minute one minute you feel like i'm gonna say something <laughs> i'm gonna go for it it's like a, i see a man or like a person rather like kind of arguing with themselves but i said man because men usually do this a lot more than women do but you know take it as it resonates whatever gender you are but i just see a person going you know what i'm gonna say something you know no, you know what? No, no, no. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm too nervous. No, fuck that. I got to say something. I got to say something. It's like you're arguing with yourself. Like, if I say something, they're not going to be receptive to my love. You're talking yourself out of it. Then the next minute, you're like, fuck that. I want to take a chance. I don't know what is gonna, what's going to happen. And if you pay attention, which is so fucking... I cannot make this shit up, y'all. It's falling under the fool card. The unknown that new fool's journey google the fool's journey the fool card read about it that's where you're at that's where spirit is is pushing you to go that's where you're going naturally spirit don't even ain't even pushing you just well it is like it is but you're kind of leading yourself down that path as well but this unknown 
They're like, I don't know. You you caught between a rock and a hard place. Two of Swords is about decisions that need to be made, a stalemate. In your mind, you feel like you want to approach love, then you talk yourself out of it because you're afraid. That's what this card, that's what I'm seeing. And that's the vision that Spirit is sharing with me in my third eye. That's what I'm getting. That's advice to you. Like, this is what you're going to be going through just to let you know. That's what I'm getting from Spirit. Like, if you need confirmation, the fact that you're going back and forth and you're really in your head, what I'm getting is that you're really in your head, Aquarius. You're really, really in your head. Let me put this back because <clears throat> that is not it. But you're really in your head. You're going back and forth. One minute you want to say something, the next minute you don't. So spirit is a, is basically suggesting like, shit, if you want to feel impulsive, like go for it. Go into the unknown. Please do. Please do. You got the nine, the nine of wands here. I think that's super interesting that your last piece of advice is a wands card because that's all about passion and action. And the nine, I think, is about somebody not being very honest or something, but I could be wrong. Let me double check because, honey, sometimes I'll just be saying shit, guessing. <laughs> but that's what these helper cards are for. Okay, this is beautiful. No, I was, I was totally wrong. So the nine of wands, you guys... Your last piece of advice, so beautiful to end the reading with this. But Spirit is telling you that you have resilience. You are resilient. You have grit. You can do this. You can push forward whatever you want to do. So you're going to be battling with yourself on what to do, what decision to make. You're going to feel impulsive towards whatever it is that you want to do. But just know in the end, you are resilient. You will survive. You will learn something amazing. You will. Your hope with love is going to be restored. So to me, that sounds like nothing but positivity coming out of whatever it is that you're going to be compelled to do impulsively. So though you're going back and forth with yourself, that's okay. Because the ending is going to be just what it needs to be. You're resilient. Your resilience is going to carry you. Spirit is trying to remind you of your resilience. It's almost like Spirit is saying, go for it. You have the strength. You have the resilience. I got your back. You'll be okay. That's all I got for you, Aquarius. If you guys need anything, my information will be in the description. I love you guys. See you next time. Peace.